forms. So let me use this as a demonstration. If I take a bunch of clay and I plop it down on a board and I start taking that and molding it with my hands and making some kind of twisted abstract shape. Is all surfaces of the clay the same? And the answer is yes. They're all the same. All surfaces of the clay are the same. It's the same clay. You mold it around. All the surfaces as of equal detail if I was to press the letter J into the clay on one side of it or the abstract side of it or the bottom side of it anywhere it all be the same detail okay that's one form now to start out with this lesson you know this and I'll get to what the whole lessons about in a little bit but um, it's about trying to make a good form that keeps good structure that is still sculptable and it's that initial wad of clay that you start out with before I used to teach ZBrush I used to teach it like okay here's a tool here's what the tool does here's a tool here's what the tool does but I soon found out that without teaching the basic fundamentals of your first form or your first initial piece of clay students will sculpt on anything <laughs> and that is so true they will sculpt on anything they can get their little hands on but you never learn everything from that so I guess I had to kind of refer it back to clay that being said let's look at um, the sphere again Okay. Before I took this tool, this thing, and I just kind of moved it out here and made a huge change. Oops. And I took symmetry off. And I made this huge change. And it doesn't look like much of a change happened. And if I turn polyframe on, you can see that, sure enough, that the, the polygons are still a little safe in that area. Um, it's only when I get way, way out here that they uh, start breaking. Okay, and you can see that they're quite broke at this region. So the next rule of ZBrush that, and these are kind of my rules, um, is that you take and move things drastically at lower resolutions so that higher resolutions maintain their uniformity. So here, I'm going to take and reconstruct subdivide. Now you can do this on geometry that is quadrilated, so qu uh, being perfect quad and no edge loops in the area. They just this can actually form into a box. I I refer to this form as a squircle only in to regards of if I take it all the way down to its lowest form, it is a box. <laughs> okay, this makes the perfect sculpting area. So I use squircles for a lot of stuff. But here it is. So here's the lowest level, or one of the lowest that still still maintains a ball. So what happens here? Well, let's start forming this into something. I'm using that same tool. And the one thing you got to know about this tool, it grabs and pulls. Okay. Now there's certainly other ones like this one, the move tool. Okay, which sort of does the same thing, but there is also just the move parts tool, which you notice I can pull this form out and nothing else moves. Okay, so right here I'm already getting a little bit better structure because I'm moving all the, the parts with it. Now, this big huge polygon and this big huge polygon does not match, so I'm just kind of matching this up. And I'm just developing a wad of clay, a very abstract version of a wad of clay. 
that has a huge change in it and still maintains detail. This is a good exercise to practice with too. You know, it's not all about just making aliens in Z ZBrush. Um, you got to start out with the understanding of how ZBrush works. What's its rules so you can break it. Okay, so you're starting to see I get that form. Now I can start moving these around. So I guess this is kind of a stress test, you might want to say. The idea of getting a really, really abstract form and still have good unification across the mesh. And it'll closely play into our assignment too. Because I want you guys to get used to making really abstract forms to be able to sculpt on. And then later I'm going to show you uh, methods of producing forms other than, you know, the squircle here, of course. So try to produce the weirdest form you can and still keep everything equally spaced all the way across. Okay, now I'm starting to get broke a little bit, so here's a little trick. Delete lower, and then I'm going to reconstruct subdivide down. Okay, and in some cases that will fix some of the unification problems. Not all, but it'll help. Another thing that helps a lot is taking this higher level and going down here to deformation and polishing it a little bit. Okay, and you can see when I go back to a lower level, that really does a nice job of fixing a lot of the polygon structure. In fact, I'll do something really odd here. Start pulling this form out. Just trying to mimic what I always see as far as, yeah, let's start out sculpting some kind of weird form that looks like that. And there's no uniformity. So what I could do here is polish it. Delete lower. Reconstruct subdivide down. And it's starting to become a little bit more uniform. So let's test it out. Then we got this weird form and take up divisions. Let's try our test again. In this case, I'm going to take the standard brush. Draw an S in it. Draw an S in it. In this case, both of them are about the same resolution. So let's uh, divide that up. S. S. And I'm just going to carve this in a little bit higher and this in a little bit higher. There we go. And then we're going to go down in levels. And you can see they closely match throughout all the levels. One's not higher than the other. They disappear all at the same level. And they're all the way through it. This is a halfway decent uniformed mesh that can be sculpted upon. So you can get some pretty weird shapes out of these things for our assignment. 
but please note that you know that's what I'm going to be looking at is it might be a weird shape you might have be able to produce that out of a polygon structure but does the polygon structure match all the way through and that at this level does it look like the same shape as this level okay when I draw on it will it maintain its detail on all levels of the surface it's important may not seem it but now but it will be later on all right so let's move on to the next lesson